Hello and welcome to another lecture based on relations and functions. So far we have discussed about relations and today we shall be starting with the discussion on functions. Later we are going to discuss their types and finally we shall conclude this lecture based on relations and functions by discussing some numerical problems that would be based on the functions and their types. So we start our lecture by the basic definition of a function. Now a function is a special case of a relation and can be defined by considering x and y which are two non-empty sets. A subset f of x into y is called a function or mapping or map from x to y with the condition that each x belong to x and there exists a unique y belonging to y such that x y belong to function f and it can be represented as f is to x tending to y thus a subset f of x into y is called a function from x to y if and only if two conditions are satisfied first one is for each x belonging to x they exist y belonging to y such that x y belong to function f and no two different ordered pairs have the same component. In other words, a function from x to y is a rule which associates to each element x of x a unique element y of y. Another term associated with function is an image of an element. The unique element y belonging to y is called the image of the element x of x under the function f is to x tending to y and it is denoted by y equal to fx. The element y is also known as the value of the function f at x and the element x is known as the pre-image of y. Next we are going to discuss the types of functions. The first type of function that we are going to discuss is one to one function. A function f from x to y is called one to one if and only if different elements of x have different images in y. For this let us consider this example in which we have x containing elements as a, b, c and d and y containing elements as p, q, r, s. Now we note here that different elements of x have different images in y. Therefore this function is one to one function. Next we are going to discuss many to one function. A function f from x to y is called many to one function if and only if two or more elements of x have same image in y. In other words a function f from x to y is called many to one if and only if it is not one to one. For this let us consider this example. Now here we have x containing elements as a, b, c, d and y containing elements p, q, r. Now here we note that c and d have the same image q. Thus this function represent many to one function since the elements of x have the same image in y. Next we are going to consider on to function. A function f from x to y is called onto or surjection function if and only if each element of y is the image of at least one element of x. That is if and only if codomain of f is equal to range of f. Here in this example each element of y is at least image of one element of x. Therefore this represents an onto function. Next we are going to discuss into functions. A function f from x to y is called into function if and only if there exists at least one element in y which is not image of any element of x. That means if and only if range of x is a proper subset of codomain of f. Or we can say that 
a function f from x to y is called into if and only if it is not onto. Now in this example, x has the elements as a, b, c and y has the element as p, q, r, s. Now here we note that p is not image of any of the elements of x. Therefore this function represents an into function. Another type of function is one to one correspondence. A function f from x to y is called a one to one correspondence or bijection if and only if f is both one to one and onto. That means different elements of x have different images in y and each element of y is the image of at least one element of x. In the shown example, we have x and y having the elements as a, b, c, d and p, q, r, s respectively. Now here we note that the function is 1 to 1 since each element of x has a unique image in y and the function is onto also since each element of y is image of at least one element of x. Thus this function represent one to one correspondence. Finally we are going to consider a problem based on the functions and their types. Now here we have a problem that says that a function f on a subset of real numbers is defined as fx equal to 2x plus 1 if x lies between 0 and 2 where 0 is inclusive and fx is equal to x minus 2 if x lies between 0 and 5 both inclusive. Now here we have to find the domain of f, the range of f and whether the function is 1 to 1 or many to 1. Now as we can see that the domain of the function f is equal to 0 to 5. Next we are going to find the range of the given function f and in order to find the range of f we suppose y equal to fx. Now for case 1 when x lies between 0 and 2 implies that 2x lies between 0 and 4 which further means that 2x plus 1 lies between 1 and 5. And now since y is equal to fx which is 2x plus 1 therefore we can rewrite it as y lying between 1 and 5 where 1 is inclusive. We have another case in which x lies between 2 and 5. This implies that x minus 2 lies between 0 and 3 which means that y is lying between 0 and 3. On combining cases 1 and 2 we have range of f equal to 1 to 5 union of 0 to 3 which is equal to 0 to 5 where 0 is inclusive. Next we are going to find whether the given function is 1 to 1 or many to 1. For this let us find out the value of the function f at point 1 by 2. This is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 which is obtained by substituting the value of x as 1 by 2 in given equation which is 2x plus 1. This gives us the value of function f at point 1 by 2 as 2. Next we are going to find the value of the function at point 4 which is equal to 4 minus 2 which is obtained by substituting the value of x as 4 in the given function which is x minus 2. This gives us the value of function f at, at 4 equal to 2. Now here we note that the elements 1 by 2 and 4 of the domain have the same image that is 2 therefore the function is many to 1.
with this we conclude this lecture on relations and functions that was based on the functions and their types